Welcome to the Nightly Rant. I'm Mike. And I'm Toria. This is the show where we talk about the awful things that have happened in our day, the awesome things that have happened in our day, and all the things in between. Thanks for listening, and we truly hope you enjoy. Do you miss the glory days of talk radio, where the hosts knew their stuff and were not spreading fake stories? What would it be like if those same hosts could speak their mind and not have to answer to management for it? I have just the thing for you. Spencer Hughes Podcast and Adventures is the new show from Spencer Hughes, formerly of Fox News Radio and a host of other places. For as little as $1 a month, you can have access to Spencer again. His insights will make you think, and his humor will make you laugh. This is your chance to help a man build his dream and support his family. Head over to patreon.com forward slash Spencer Hughes today and subscribe to one of the several levels you can choose from. You will not be disappointed in the content you are going to begin receiving. Patreon.com forward slash Spencer Hughes. Adventurous content the way radio used to be. So let's talk about a really important but often misguided topic of indoctrination. Okay. So, do you get what I mean by the word indoctrination? No, you're going to to explain yourself. So, like the issue where the government... The reason, I mean, have you ever wondered why the government wants control over the education system? Not really. I haven't given it a lot of thought. It's because the government gets to put forth a dialogue to the students, and they get to put a narrative out there, and they get to teach the kids that that's how things went down, even if they didn't. Okay. So, like, like we watched that TV show about Waco. Uh Uh-huh. And... It tried to present like a kind of a neutral, um, unbiased position. But what it did was it showed that the government spun the story so that they didn't look so bad. And that's what I'm talking about, about indoctrination. Like people say the government doesn't have a lot to say in our life and they don't have a lot of control and we only they only get what we give them and i completely disagree with that i think that the government indoctrinates us from a young age and i mean between my first child and my fourth child the changes in what they're told about the same topic are I don't know, alarming. Fair enough. And the only answer that I can come up to about why they're different and alarming is that the agenda has changed a little bit. And so they want people to think in a little bit different manner. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. And... Here's the thing. If you teach children, like, all right, this is how powerful indoctrination is. They realized that they wanted to, they were were trying to fight this war on drugs. And they realized that, yeah, we can go after the drug dealers all day long, but unless we stop the drug users from using drugs, the drug dealers are going to keep being, keep doing what they're doing. We've talked about this before, about how, they have a difficult time because if they go after the low-level drug dealer, it doesn't have any effect because they'll just replace them with another low-level drug dealer. Right. But by the same token, if they take the guy off at the top, there's a whole host of people lined up to take over and be the person at the top. Right. So their thought process at some point, in the U.S. anyway, was we're going to teach the kids not to do drugs. We're going to teach them how dangerous drugs are.